Hi, I'm William. I want to build a new ADHD friendly app to track everything you could possibly want, like the nails, wine, or things you have in your fridge, or I don't know, things you put in card boxes and that you forgot about. Uh, I was in the in the making of this for a long time and I finally have the time to maybe work on that right now. I searched the app store with my iPhone for quite some time uh, and I couldn't, couldn't find something interesting like item list is a great app it has um, possibility to uh, request features but it is very limited at 100 items uh, maximum in the free version and also uh, it is just not well built in terms of usability like if I would just want to add something it's, it's not convenient and I don't know, like I, I try to, to add things here, but like if you want to add something, you can take a photo, that's very good. But then an, another photo, but like if you validate, you need to add the name, that's perfectly fine. So I will type like the killers um, with the octa correct on. But what's really bothering is that all those things I don't need, but it's still shown. And also, if I go back to the top, it, it opens automatically the keyboard and it's very inconvenient. Plus the fact that, like, I don't need all of that. And I created something, but it's not... Like, I want to, to have much more than 100 items and it's not that were built and the other app is uh, inventory lists uh, it is too focused on business because it's what brings money I understand but like the problem I have here is that it's I, I don't have necessarily the stock and when when I add something it doesn't add it to the stock automatically like I, I I created this, but like to edit in stock, I have to to go here and new location and, and select the location and adjust the quantity and it's just so painful. Like I don't want transaction something like that. I just want to add things to know how many I have those or of those things, and like. <laughs> I don't know, so I got a little depressed because I was finding really great apps, but they they were not they were not tied to my needs, and I feel like I just need a really simple thing that allows me to add things in one click with pictures as I shown with customizable fields or like no fields at all uh, in in just like an. Uh, you you take two photos, you write a little text, and you place it in the category, and it's added to the to your thing. I want it to be multi-user capable. Capable. Um, a lot of them are are paid to use. You need to pay to use multi-user capabilities, and also um, I want a lot of items to be uh, free to add because I don't want to make money on that and I'm starting my solopreneur career. So <laughs> I think many solutions that can break through are solutions that offer more than expected and I want to be this kind of solution. And maybe you can pay for, I don't know, more categories or um, AI, some things like that because it would be very nice to have recognition of what it is like if it sees a vinyl uh, cover it should categorize it in the vinyl um, thing and like that's not a complex app and I think with great design um, great real-time collaboration could be very good so um, what I'm planning to use as a as 
uh, as a list of solutions. Um, I'm going to show you. Uh, I love using Z. <laughs> this is my editor of choice. I just opened Discord. Fuck, sorry. Um, Z is very cool because it's so fast. Like you have all of these things and it's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. Uh, you have uh, integration of AI and all. Um, you can also have, <laughs> this is not hidden, it's just a map. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, I may use Clerk because it's a built-in authentication app that allows you to, to, to enable your app to be signed in uh, really quickly. Uh, but the problem here is that I want also to upload image, images and all, so maybe Superbase would be better. I don't know, because they have a very large plan um, as for what you can do with uh, this. Um, only one gigabyte of file storage, but I think you can maybe, if I have this much uses I may be able to compress images and also to pay 25 bucks a month. Um, the other thing may be Firebase because I have a lot of experience with it but it's uh, I find it hard to uh, use. Um, I love Firebase like the, the overall design and what it what it offers to developers real-time uh, caching and all. Um, but like Firebase is a little complicated in, in terms of um, security, securing uh, database access. I don't want to write rules, but maybe with ChatGPT, Mistral AI or Cloud, I could benefit from um, those uh, LLMs to write, write the, the code for me. I don't know. But yeah, I could use that. Um, and I think uh, I just talked all about uh, web software because I think it could be um, developed in the first time as a web app uh, that you can use uh, fully responsively on your mobile phone and uh, also access on your iPad or the, your MacBook or laptop because when you're doing inventory you don't have or you don't always have your phone or it may be more comfortable to to have uh, the ability to do it on different platforms and if it's very simple it could give you the the the, the thinking of wow it's magic so that's what i want to build and i will keep you updated on, on what i do thanks for listening <laughs>